hey guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to continue this warehouse environment model so we completed this much in our last video uh let's add some more detail so for this part what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here and uh, go to face mode select these faces uh, let's isolate it first so again go to face mode and uh, select these faces except this one and uh, now let's duplicate and hide this part just keep this one and uh, for this what we can do is um, we can go to edge mode and select these two edges then use fill hole or let's use bridge for this and same thing here and here and now you can go to edge mode and let's select all the edges except these two and let's use bevel uh, to smooth these sharp edges decrease the fraction to 0 0.3 and add one segment now bring back your model go to display show and all and what you can do is you can isolate this one again and uh, you can select these faces then delete also these ones and delete and to fill this gap uh, what you can do is you can go to edge mode select all these edges and these ones then uh, bridge and uh, remove this edge so now we have this part here i'm going to assign the same material just for the identification like this all right we are good to go now let's add some door frames here and uh, for that let's take a plane or a cube so i'm going to go here in the back view and uh, i'm going to take a plane and turn on this interactive creation so let's take a plane and i'm going to create one here like this go to vertex mode select the vertices and just place them here like this these ones like this So bring it out in the front and uh, go to face mode, select this face and uh, scale it uh, with pressing shift to add some offset. Go to face mode and let's delete this face. Go to vertex mode, select the vertices again. Go to front or back view, scale these vertices and uh, pull them down. Now delete this face and extrude it, add some thickness like this and uh, you can isolate it for now and remove these two faces. These are not going to be visible. Now let's uh, go to edge mode, select all the edges except these two and we are going to add a bevel
and place it here like this maybe just a little bit out and we're going to repeat the same thing here so either we can take a new plane or we can select this create a duplicate and place it here go to right view or the left view place this here like this go to vertex mode select these vertices and bring them here then place it inside now let's create some stairs for that I'm going to take a cube go to left view again and uh, scale it like this and uh, take this connect tool select this edge and add few segments like this now go to face mode and select these three faces again go to left view and uh, extrude now deselect this top face and extrude again like this one more time and to create the stairs just scale it like this Now let's create some railings for this stair and for that I'm going to take a cylinder rotate it decrease the radius and increase height and also decrease the subdivision axis maybe 12 go to top view and uh, place it here like this i guess we need to add some more height
now create a duplicate go to top view and rotate it like this and place it here and scale it down like this now select this one and decrease a little bit of height and place it here like this now again create a duplicate rotate it place it here like this go to left view and uh, rotate it like this now we need to scale it so change it to component mode and just add some scale like this now select this one again and create a duplicate rotate it place this one here and scale it down like this and create another duplicate place this one here go to top view and uh, select this one go to vertex mode and place these vertices here like this now select this one and pull these vertices up and uh, now we have finished with placing these uh, railings now we need to connect these by bridging so i'm going to select all these and combine now i'm going to isolate them and uh, let's start bridging them so go to face mode and select these faces and uh, bridge change the curve type to blend and increase the divisions like this and repeat the same thing here select these faces then bridge curve type to blend and uh, four or five divisions and uh, to smooth these railings what you can do is go to edge mode and select all these edges except these ones down here go to mesh display and select this soften edge and our railings are done now you can add some bars here so what you can do is you can take another cylinder bring it out go to left view and uh, place it here decrease the radius and uh, subdivision axis to 12 
go to vertex mode and pull these vertices up and these ones a little down or to top view and uh, place it here like this go to left view again and uh, pull these vertices up like this and these ones down create a duplicate place this one here and create one more duplicates and place this one here like this Now select this one, go to left view, create another duplicate, place that one here, one more, place it here, and uh, let's add some bars here. So create a duplicate, place this one down here, go to vertex mode, pull these vertices up like this and two more duplicates one for here and one for this stair go to vertex mode pull these ones down now select this one pull these one down as well and we are done select everything except this one you can uh, combine and what you can do is you can select the faces and deselect these ones and uh, these ones so you're now selecting only the top and bottom faces and since these are not visible you can delete them and now you can go to edge mode select all the edges go to mesh display and soften edge what you can do is you can select the bottom vertices and pull them down just a little bit to hide them in this stair and uh, you can also select top ones and pull them up a little like this and we are good to go and our stairs are done so in the next part we are going to add some more details to these walls and roof and then we are going to create a door here so in a couple of more videos this environment should be done so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then drop a like and subscribe if you are new i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching